Hello you, welcome back to A Town Called Bastard plays Shadowrun Chronicles uh, with me the bastard and this uh, reprobate Chris Corline. Hello. Uh, we are we are Copperhead and Bonk. Um, I, yeah, sex act. Um, <laughs> let's go, uh, before we pick up a mission, let's go talk to one of these lovely friendly people around here and just get a bit of, a bit of flavour off them. Let's go talk to Bozeman. Uh, this dwarf over here, because we haven't had any dwarf-on-dwarf -dwarf conversation action. Bozeman, you seem pretty busy. The riots are creating a lot of opportunities. I have my hands full right now. Right, well that was quick. Uh, apparently the riots are creating a lot of opportunities for him, so he has his hands full. Um, yeah. So, it's pretty good. Right, let's talk to Smedley. Get this mission on the go. This Dragon Slayer affair has my interest peaked, I must admit. I want to know what they are up to. The riots in the rocks and South End are surely an overture to something. So, another spy mission, then? No. We'll do this the polite way. We'll ask them. Ask them? You aren't serious, are you? From the data you gathered, we got the time and location of their next meet with their sponsor. And you want me to run interference? On the contrary. I want you to go and see whom she is meeting, and about what. So, surveillance then? No. Luna only has a few gangers with her. You can corner her and beat two birds with one stone. Luna? Not a great street name. So, shoot first, ask questions later. I can get with that. Don't let yourself be fooled by her act. She has never allowed anyone to catch her. And she rules the Dragon Slayers with an iron fist. It's the first time for everything. I'm on it. Jane will be providing Matrix support. The place you're hitting is an upscale apartment building. So we'll have to deal with the cops as well? That's what you get Jane for. She'll shut down security systems long enough for you to get in and out. Useful. Make haste, friend. Luna is moving out as we speak. Okay, then. Let's, uh, let's go do this thing. We'll check equipment first. I know I think we did it last time, but let's have a proper look. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a proper look. I, don't, I definitely haven't got any enough money to buy anything, I don't think. Uh, I've got enough money to buy anything, but I don't think I... Why am I not wearing any armor? Oh, well. Fixed. Right. Fixed. Okay. <laughs> let's go get this top-notch cab. I hope that's the brand name of the cab. Brand name of the cab? The comp cab company and not just a rough description. Um... Okay, yeah, party crashes. Uh, a secret meeting going on between the Drang Slayers and their unknown benefactor. Let's break up the little gathering and send a clear message. Uh, so we don't get any henchmen for this one. Uh, that's fine. It's a two-player. Designed for two-player? Yeah, two-player extravaganza. So. Yeah. Following Luna's signal, Jane guides you to an upscale apartment building in a residential area. You wonder whom she wants to meet there. Ooh, good grammar. But she's not following the signal, she's just following good the data. Day. Yeah. Welcome to your first Matrix supported run. Please fasten your body armor and make sure that all weapons are loaded and pointed towards bad people at all times. <laughs> Reading you loud and clear. Can you see us? Affirmative. The cameras in the hallway are under my control, and I can get limited data feeds from your comments. So you'll be our eyes and ears. Eyes, ears, and digital fairy godmother. I've disabled all connections to the outside, so you should have a clear field for the next ten minutes or so. Thanks. Anything you can tell me about the security here? Meat bodies, most likely. I can't get into the apartment cameras without them noticing, but the power draw suggests some automated defenses. Sentry guns. Great. Um, a little tip of information since last time, because I was saying about how they should have got like actual Bostonians to do the Boston accent, so they didn't sound so corny and fake. Apparently, they did. Yeah. Um, I was so. I'm sorry, Boston. I I can probably never go to you. I was. I would. I didn't want to comment on the accents, but the Boston accent is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to find my Boston friends and tell them that to their faces. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, also, right. the the background music here is absolutely incredible. It's so good, isn't it? Like, oh, yeah, man. cyber music. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we need to get access to this apartment. Let's just head out and see what we have to see. Gotcha. Um, so there's something to examine behind you. Uh, I don't know if you want to take care I'll of I'll examine that. it. 
Okay. It oh, is. Personal message. Do you want to take care of it? Uh, or shall I? You, you take care of it. They, used to, they, they do like my silken reading voice, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so from Janitorial Service Unit 12... <laughs> to Boston Housing Authority. Dear pencil pushers, I've had it up to here with your random inspections. Last time I had to wait for three hours for your inspector to show up and walk all 34 floors with her only to get some grief about the lack of backup circuits in our electricity. I've told you and your minions time and again, this building does not have an auxiliary backup grid, haha, <laughs> and we still have a valid permit for operating without one. Next time you can just walk up each floor and check the fuse boxes by yourself. And don't get me started on the drainage. I will not janitorial service unit 12. I would hate for you to get started on the drainage. Um, I'm going to do this conversation thing with whoever's behind this door. Open up, maintenance crew. Go away, I'm the janitor and you are no maintenance crew. Well, you got us there. Can you help us out? Maybe cut the power to the apartment across the hallway? Oh, you don't want to go in there. They're bad business. So they're not your favorite tenants, I take it. What if they had to move out all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You'll go on a murderous rampage. But if you absolutely have to do that, you need to get me a beer first. What? You heard me. Get me a drink. Vending machines out there. No way I'm going out there before the cops have come and gone. So... Okay, so basically, yeah, someone needs to get him a drink. Are you really fetching beer for a drunk janitor? <laughs> Shut up. She said, are you really fetching beer for a drunk janitor? <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. We could be um, killing giant rats for villagers. Um, okay, <laughs> and now, bizarrely, I can talk to him and give him the beer. Presumably yeah, cool. Toss it I, I toss it to you, yeah. yeah. Thanks, that'll keep me going until the shooting stops. You might want to check out the fuse box at the end of the hallway. Next to the stairs? Yeah, I kept telling them not to plug their illegal dreck into the house circuits, but they won't listen. <laughs> I guess they got what's coming to them. Do you get, like, the, the, the pop-ups of him talking to me? I do, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna. I don't know what's in this room here. Um, it's like it's locked. It is. Uh, I'm gonna have a look. Ooh. Unlockable. Secret adventure zone. Yeah, you've got the unlock thing, right? It looks like it's too hard for me, but I'll give it a go. Uh, what am I doing? I'll do that. Then it's done. Okay, here we go 70%. Ooh. I got Victorian pants from that. Yeah, I got some useless trash as well. Um, there's also that use take thing in there, which I can yeah, actually yeah. reach on this turn, oh. so I'll just come back in. And... Top hats, yes. Oh man, can I wear that? Bear hug armor, interesting. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna go by the door, and being as you're Mr. Hacky, it doesn't seem to matter who does it, but if you hack the, the stairwell thing. Uh, not from this range, I can't. It's alright, I'll just move near it and we'll do it next turn, which will leave me with my reactions to whatever's behind that door anyway. So. House grid shows a sharp power drop inside the apartment. Not the primary circuits, but whatever they hooked up to the auxiliaries. Which is nothing, as we know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna open that door. What have we here? Someone with a death wish. Hello. Um, okay, I am going to... I'm going to bear him up, basically. I'm going to stun him, I think. Oh, well, Got a 40% yeah. on a stun, which I think I'm going to take. Ah, to go for it. Got him. Got him. Uh, that wasn't a stun, though. That was a... Uh, that was your normal attack, he's marked, not stunned. Oh crap, did I not click the right thing? Okay, never mind. Well, He's melee anyway, so let's rock! Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna move um, to there. I'm actually gonna move. See, I can see. Can you see the other guy on the other side of the room? Yeah, I can. See, I'm gonna actually move the bear. He can't get close enough to attack, so I'm gonna move him around here, because then he'll go to attack him, right? And this guy will probably go to attack the bear as well, so the bear doesn't take two attacks on one turn. Yeah. That's my, that's my theory with that. Um, and then the turn. Poor bear. Okay. 
Um, the bear's probably just going to kill him straight up, I think. If we could get those guys just a little bit closer together, I could grenade them both. Oh, don't waste a grenade on this track. Oh, Jesus. Shots um, fired. And I think I can do a... Yeah. Hello. Wee. That worked. Let's examine the thing. Examine the thing. From Cruzado to Takshak. Takshak, stop stalling. I need you to close the deal with those gangers. I have the Sun Priest breathing down my neck for material, and I don't want to become their subject of choice. With all the bodies these guys have been shuttling around, surely one of them must be suitable for sacrifice. Ooh, mm -hmm. see the star. Uh, okay, so the following turn. Looks like an openable thing there on your side as well. That's medkit, sweet. BTL chip. I just apparently ran through a vase for no reason. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna open this until you. Uh, yeah, um, if I could have one more turn, I'd love to get uh, kind of yeah, central yeah, yeah. and do a proper beagle breach on this. Beagle breach, like it. Um, oh, it's half cover all around. Shit, so Covers better than no cover. No one's gonna come through it until we open it anyway. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that even. Oh god, that's not what I meant to happen. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to the bear over here, and then I think the bear's going to yeah, fade away. Oh! This turn. Uh, okay, if you get on the other side of that door, we'll skip, okay. an, en we'll skip an end turn, and then we'll. Uh... I can't. I can go here, which is just as good. Can't you go on the other side of the door? No, it's just out of range. Well, yeah, except if you dash, surely. No. Really? Uh, already dashed to get this far. Oh, wow, movement. okay. Fair enough. Let's enter in there. I think it's that new armor. Oh, maybe. Yeah, armor does. Oh, also, I think there might be a. Oh, no, it's just out of move. It's obstructed by the flashy electric y stuff. You have, you, have still got a move. you have still got a move, though. Yeah, but it would get me like one. Oh, wow, right, it's okay. still out of movement range. I think it's either. Oh, bugged maybe it's just, or... bu it's just fucked, obviously. Fine, just. Um, well, I'll tell you what, then. I'll go. This is totally unnecessary. But if you take my place, because I won't need, really need cover anyway. This is, we're super over engineering. This is going to be like one guy in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to. You should probably open it. Okay. Because then you can just still do an attack. Drek, oh, wow. We have visitors. It's been a pleasure, my dears, but I really must dash. You have some nerve coming here. You have no idea what you have gotten yourself into. How uh, about a grenade now? Uh, kind of? Yeah, yeah, I mean, go for it. Like, yeah, he has yeah, got 22 right. points, I guess, so go for it. You ba you really want to use that grenade, so, you know, go for it. <laughs> They're so cheap, though. I've got, like, five of them. Uh, Six to seven damage. What's he on? 14 to 20. I'm actually going to get my bear out. Just... Do your bear out. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Yep, but it did no damage because it's not real. Okay. Like, only one of him is real. And it's the one on the right, I think. I can move into flanking at the desk. Uh, he's stun immune. I can do a, a regular bear attack on him. Uh, yeah, do do what you want to do. I'm probably just going to dash in. Okay. Move into flanking, assuming your dash doesn't work. Uh, this won't take care of me, I don't think. No. Backslash. <laughs> Holy crap, you're trash, mate. Um, so how, how do I want to kill him? <laughs> <laughs> Can I shoot him with my new gun? Yeah, have a, have a pop. Or oh, I can't shoot him with my new gun. Have you got like auto... You, you've got automatics, right? That's your thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I, he is in full cover. Like, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Allow the illusion. He made it out alive, but Luna got away. Some sort of magic trick. Don't be too hot on yourself. You're not the first person she's escaped from. Any intel on the guy she was meeting? All I heard was mage talk, but I am checking his background. Not much to show for, then. And now Luna knows we're on to her. 
you can't always win. At least we stopped her from whatever she was doing. Let's loot the place. Oh. Apparently to loot. Nope. I like how the, the subtask for that section was don't get confused by the illusions. We're still in tutorial mission lands. So everyone just like we are. buckle up. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hand that in. Immediately and Ula got away. The and whoever she was meeting had some serious illusion magic going. Don't blame yourself, my friend. Happens to the best of us. Never happened to me before. You could have told me Luna was a mage. I am as flustered as you are. Seems in my eagerness to seize the opportunity, I was ill-informed. Do we have anything on the maid she was meeting? No, he's not on any records and definitely not known in the underworld. Smells like corporate wage mage to me. So that's how they're getting their heavy ordnance. I am confident that we will get her next time. Go spend some money, then check back with me. Will do. Okay, ooh, I got a topaz focus from that. I did. What to sell it? Hmm? What to sell it? Did you get a topaz focus as well? I did. Ah, oh, that's odd. Um, and yes, I will sell it because it's spell casting. Um, okay, let's. Uh, yeah, sell it at Doc Belmont uh, before I spend XP and stuff. Uh, sell weapons. Bye bye. Okay, so which of these is worth more or less? So my rusty katana is worth less, so I should probably update that first. Who sells the hacky stuff? I thought it was Jim, but it isn't. No, it's Razor, around the corner. Oh, what a great spelling of Razor. Oh, oh, hacky stuff, as in hacky, as in engineering. Like, yeah. I thought you meant hacky, as in hitting people with hacksaws. Uh, no, it's uh, Bree up on the stairs, just near Jane. Ah, oh, gotcha. Um... Okay, so what can I... So, Rusty Katana... Oh god, the next level up, like, of k just Katana, is 8,400. I'm nowhere near that yet. Well, I do like the one above that is a used Mahuitl. Um, which is an Aztec weapon, for anyone who doesn't know. Well, it's Central American. Central yeah. South American weapon. I love how there's, um, like, like, some of the hacking decks are called Radio Shack. Like yeah. they assumed that somehow Radio Shack would survive into this <laughs> deep future. Oh no, actually the custom cleaver is um, has a bit of extra damage but a lower crit chance. But I can't afford that either, so yeah. Um, can I sell? Got anything else to sell? Oh, a BTL chip, but it's only worth 360. Um, so I definitely can't buy the next level of melee. Can I buy the next level of summoning focus? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing it'll be roughly the same amount, but let's go check anyway. Just for shits and giggles. Um, yeah, I can't afford anything. I'm going to spend my skills, I think. Summon. Oh, yeah, I really can't. Okay, yeah, skills it is. Um, so what have I got? I've got blades, two, and summoning three. So let's see what I can get for my next level of blades. Is improved sprints. Just get an extra sprint range. Okay. Well, let's get that. A bit boring, but fine. Useful. Useful. So I get a range increase if I want it. Uh huh. Um, which is nice for the character I want to play, but. This area is designated restricted um, under the night. Particularly. Spot weakness gives 5% chance to my bonus or improve edge. Opponents minus 25% critical hit to you chance to me. I quite fancy the, the, the spot weakness, to be honest. What's the other one I'm in? Hacking. Blackout 2 and Blackout 2 2 are both out of my uh, pay range, so I think it's going to be Spot Weakness. Is that in um, Automatic? No, it's in uh, Brain. Oh, in, in, in the Mind thing. Oh yeah, Spot Weakness. Or Improve Edge, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, because you don't have to carry on along the top line, do you? You can just jump around whichever, just as long as we make sure we get the hacking and organ harvest choices right then. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. The hacker cool. ones are out of range at the moment. That sounds like good. That is good. Okay, um, I'm going to hide Copperhead in this little weird shack. 
And um, yeah, that's that's the episode. Uh, so thanks for watching, folks. Um, tune in again for episode five. Five? Yeah, will be the next one. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc. Tell us what you love about Shadowrun Chronicles and about us playing it and about us in general and just what do you like about our faces? Tell us. Uh, we'd love to know. Uh, and until then, goodbye. Bye.